taken off uh, the bolts on the front cover of the engine and Mike and Anna are removing it. Oh, I get it. All right. Okay, and now we have the and we have the front of the engine here. Mike, can you tell us what we're looking at? All right, so what you're looking at here, uh, we'll start with the bottom. So this is the crankshaft, all right, and this is the crankshaft pulley. This rotates, this is what the internal um, pistons, they rotate this, this is the crankshaft. This um, rotates this belt, which rotates your alternator. So this is your alternator, it charges your batteries. Um, one thing that people don't understand about alternators is that they do not, they maintain batteries and they will charge a battery but if you're using more power than it can charge your battery will die okay because a lot of people think oh let me just turn the engine on and run it for a little bit and it's going to charge up all my batteries if you just had one battery yes but if you have four large batteries it takes a very 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 long time to charge that it needs an actual battery charger to charge those batteries so a lot of people don't get that. Anyways, um, this is the circular pump. So this circulates all the coolant that comes, you know, there's coolant that's inside the engine. And this is the pump that circulates all that throughout the engine through the heat exchanger and so forth. Um, and then finally, this is the water pump. This is where the impeller is. This is what keeps the heat exchanger cool and your exhaust cool. And what's inside here is an impeller. And something, you know, sometimes um, you get debris inside um, the seacock and it restricts water coming in and bits and pieces of the impeller will come off. So what boats have is they have what's called um, a sea strainer, which is that gray plastic with the um, clear plastic on top. Once we get to the back of the engine, you'll get a better look at it. But that is the filter for the water, the seawater that comes from the outside and into um, the water pump right here. So it comes in through this filter or this hose. It circulates and pumps out through the bottom here. And it goes into the heat exchanger right here. And it cools the heat exchanger. And then from the heat exchanger, it goes over to um, the circulating pump and then goes to the exhaust um, and it cools the exhaust so when this breaks off when you're changing one all right and you pull it out and you see that it's missing blades what you do is you take this hose off and you take this hose right here you could take this hose off and you pour, you know, put a hose inside this, um, a water hose inside this hose, and you turn it on and you back flush it. And it will remove the impeller chunks out of the heat exchanger so that there's no blockages. And where will it come out when you're doing that? Where do you put the bucket? Um, so you can put, just remove this and put the bucket down here, um, and it'll come out of the hose. Or if it's being tricky and they're like really big pieces, what you have to do is remove it from the back of the heat exchanger. So once we go to the back of the engine, I'll show you that hose that you would remove. And you would just still remove this hose, hook it up, and it'll pump it out the back there. Okay, so the hose would be hooked up to this hose yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So you take this hose off, and that's where you put the hose in to back flush the system. Right, pretty sure. So, um, yeah. And that's how you would back flush it and try to get all the pieces out. Now, the objective is to try to rebuild your impeller because if you can get all the pieces to rebuild it, then you know you got them all out. If you're missing like one blade, that means there's still one blade somewhere inside of your engine. And you wanna to try to get that out because that will come back to bite you in the butt later on and your engine will start to overheat. Okay, thanks.